We are continuing to monitor the latest on Buffalo Bills safety Damar Hamlin. He remains in critical condition today after collapsing during last night's primetime game. The 24-year-old played at the University of Pittsburgh before the Bills drafted him in 2021. His injury is sending shockwaves throughout all levels of sport. We've noticed some parents posting on social media concerned about the safety of their kids who are athletes. Joining us this midday is Dr. Chad Stevens. He's a sports medicine specialist with Noble pain and sports. Good morning to you, Dr. Stevens. Good morning. Thank you for having me on your show. Of, of course. First, what are doctors looking for in the first 24 hours of this kind of injury? And does that vary depending on age? Yeah, so I think that the thing we're trying to establish at this point is what was the cause of the collapse and the cardiac arrest. And there's been speculation about whether it was a direct blow to the chest called commotional cordis, or whether it was some sort of a uh, injury to the head, maybe a second impact syndrome or something. But either way, they're going to be looking at getting him to the hospital, doing cardiac tests to see, just like anybody else who had a heart attack, if they have elevated what we call troponin enzymes mm -hmm. or if they have an EKG that's abnormal. Ultimately, they'll do an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of the heart, to see how much damage has been to, done to heart tissue. And I think they would probably, if they're concerned about a head injury, start with a CT scan of the head to rule out any kind of a bleed or any kind of an injury to the head. So there will be a lot of diagnostic studies done while he's in critical care. Dr. Stevens, is this a rare kind of injury? Yeah, it's really pretty rare. There's about 30 uh, cases presented each year or so, and that can be across all sports. So I want to sound the alarm out that this is not a football-specific injury for those parents and those social media moms and things like that that are worried about their boys and girls playing right. sports like football. This can happen. It's more common in baseball, in cricket, in lacrosse, in hockey, where there's some sort of projectile that's being you know, sent towards a chest and making contact with a chest. It's that direct blow to the chest right above the heart that causes the problem. Mm. Uh, Dr. Stevens, now we haven't really confirmed the specific cause of Hamlin's cardiac arrest. Um, what can teams and medical personnel do before a player even steps on the field to decrease, I guess, the likelihood of this type of issue? That's an excellent question. So in the preseason physicals, all the way down through Pee Wee Sports, there are questions asked about family history as far as cardiac issues, especially before the age of 35. That's a red flag that somebody has a cardiac history. There are physical exam findings that are uh, abnormal in some patients that make us look at an echocardiogram to see if there's a thickened ventricle that can cause sudden death in some athletes. And then there's just EKGs done in patients that have irregular heartbeats. And so those are all things that are done before an athlete even steps onto the field. Before we go here, you know, the discussion of concussions in football, um, it's nothing new here. Are there any advances in maybe helmet technology? Yeah, so there are advances in technology and helmets, but first let me just highlight the fact that one thing, this is, there's no diagnostic workup you can do for this procedure or mm -hmm. for this problem, and there is no test you can run. And so one thing you can do is you can protect your players. In 2016 at Tufts University, they conducted a study where they looked at uh, animal studies where they looked at the impact of a chest projectile on the animal and they found that there was a very high percentage, up to 50% of the animals got ventricular fibrillation if they were directly impacted. And then they showed if you put a chest pad on there, something like this here that a company called Unequal has produced, that I had a, a chance to work with them on their concussion device wow. a few years ago, that it can reduce that to even like 8%. So I think the take home message is, if you're going to play contact sports, get the proper sporting equipment and that's as important as even taking a good history or doing a good physical exam in the preseason workup. Do you think that aligns with, you know, protecting junior players from these kind of chest injuries? Absolutely, yeah. This device, I think, was designed initially for, for pitchers who get a shot right back at them off the bat or catchers or even umpires in baseball. But now it is spread to all of different sports where there's any kind of impact. And again, hockey, a hockey player may raise their arms to, to get the stick overhead and it opens up their chest for a, a shot with a puck. And so I think that this is a protective device that we can put on our athletes and give them the best shot of not getting injured or, or seriously hurt. Well, Dr. Stevens, thank you so much for your time and your insight. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.